with these horses, these sprinters, you take every race as it comes. It was a great relief to see Gold Old Sparkle when he had his first race back at Windsor. And then he's run two really good races in the Diamond Jubilee and then in the Morris de Geese in France. We got to Haydock thinking, oh, soft ground at Haydock, we've got no chance. You know, it's easy to say after the race, yeah, he, he liked that, but um, you know, he did like it and uh, it gives you a bit of encouragement for October the 20th. He's bought the sales for the Fred Archer Syndicate. He was the most expensive one we bought. We knew all his relations very well, so we were aware of the family and where he was bred. From the time he won his first race, it's been a pretty well an upward curve. He is really too cool. Very calm, very relaxed, very cool in the box, and quite happy. He have a lot of ability. He born that way, he born to run. I look after the best horse in the year, and when he win, I feel like, come on, you know what I mean? Just get in there. I think in any yard, you find the best horse becomes the center of attention, and they often thrive on it. In anything, whether you're a horse, or a human, or anything, it's, a lot of it's down to confidence. And if your confidence is high, you'll perform better. Kipco Champions Day is a fantastic day's racing, full stop. And it's a real challenge as well. It's something we all aim for. It's great to be going in there, feeling your horses really well, and you've got a chance. And it brings the whole yard together. You know, we've been very lucky there as well. The Tin Man's won there, Deacon Blues has won there, and um, the Seal of Approval won there. So it's been a lucky meeting for us. You were looking to have winners, but the good horses are the, are the sort of icing on the cake. And to have one good enough to perform at Kipco Champions Day is very exciting. You've got a target, there's a great buzz in the yard, and it's the meeting we want to support.